Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now. Good morning, this is Ranger Rob from Ranger Rob Country Living, and today we gotta work in the yard again. And today we're going to try to get this little chainsaw running again. I don't know how long it's been since it's ran, but it will be perfect for the little projects I have today, which is cutting down trees like the ones that are against the house here and some other miscellaneous things my wife has pointed out to me. So I'm going to check the oil, check the gas, and pull the heck out of the cord and see if I can get this thing fired up. Well, forgetting that it's a two-cycle engine, um, don't have to check the oil. So I uh, de definitely needed fuel, uh, managed to spill plenty. So uh, I'm doing good so far. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can get the thing started now. Holy moly. Alright, well it seems like this little bugger works, so uh, I need to get some gloves and some safety glasses and we'll get this thing going and see what kind of havoc I can cause on the farm here. So uh, I don't know how old this uh, chainsaw is, but actually it tried to fire up pretty fast, so alright, let's get to work. <laughs> no doubt that the chainsaw blade is dull and this is a real hard wood but we got it so uh on to the next ones so before I do much more of the chainsaw stuff I wanted to show you what Sherry's accomplished back here in this corner uh, yesterday's video you probably saw it was quite the jungle but she's got it all we took out the uh, olive tree I keep calling a fig tree, I'm so sorry. Olive tree was out of here. Uh, another dogwood type of tree. Um, just slowly cleaning this up. Uh, it has to go in layers. And uh, So anyway, got a long ways to go still, but it won't be long that this will be a usable space again. And it looks amazing. We can see out the window better. And it's gorgeous. So... Uh, we're quite pleased, but a lot of work to do still. And uh, we're going to cut out some of the trees over here. But most of all, we're going to start getting these trees off the house. You can see them along the house here. Not good. And uh, that little chainsaw, since it's kind of dull, uh, makes you work a little harder than you should. Uh, I do have a bigger chainsaw, but uh, this little guy is great for little branches. So... Let's get back to work. Alright, so Sherry's gone for a little bit, but she won. The... What kind of trees are these, Sherry? Lilacs. Lilacs. And anyway, we got these lilacs in here, and then some of them are dead, but the wood is exceptionally hard. So she's been having a hard time clipping them. So I'm going to go in with the chainsaw and see what I can cut out of all this dead stuff. And uh, maybe even reduce it here a little bit. But, uh, so uh, let's get started on that one. <laughs> well, it's time to bring out the big guns. 
this is uh, my little Mac. Uh, haven't used it forever. So I threw a little fuel in it and see if we can get this started. See if it handles uh, handles the cutting a little better. That little guy is just gumming everything to death. I know, I gotta take the time to sharpen it. And, uh, which I'm not very experienced at. But uh, I know this guy hasn't been used too much. We'll see how well the blade does. So uh, let's get it started. So after 500 pulls, she is fired up and running. So let's see what we can do with this baby. Looks like we have a little help. See? You can cut it. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> That's pretty hard stuff. What do you think, Sander? You got one. Oh, we got another. Yeah, the funny thing is when we cut all these branches, the dogs find their favorite and spread them out all over the property. <laughs> so, that's okay. They make a smile. Now it's getting time to take out this tree against the house. As you can see, how close it is to the house, which is way too close. And uh, so we're taking the whole thing out. Also, I've got another tree here that's really close to our heat pump. And uh, I hate to cut out a pine tree, but it just there's not a place for it. So uh, once I, uh, my chainsaw is having an attitude, so I guess if I can get it started again. And then we'll get to work on this. <laughs> My chainsaw died and a little guy's just too far gone so we did get this far it looks like we'll be using the wood chipper again and we still got a lot to go here so we're taking a break and we're gonna go buy a new chainsaw so hopefully next time I come on here we'll have a new chainsaw okay guys we are back and yes I picked up a new chainsaw I decided to go with a stealth uh, I think it's a steel, <laughs> sorry. Uh, it's a MS250, uh, 18 inch. And uh, I gotta tell you, I went to Coastal, which is uh, also used to be called Big R. And uh, they specialize in Husqvarna and the steel. And uh, the service is over the top. Um, the steel comes with a one year warranty, but if you buy like a six of the little oil things here they'll give you a two-year warranty and they'll do all your servicing there at coastal and i thought that was a pretty sweet deal so uh at the same time i picked up something to make mixing gas a little easier one of those containers fits a one gallon keep it simple put one gallon in and i found a gas station that has gas without ethanol in it so win 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 so i'm excited to uh uh, oh, also, before I bought it, they also did a um, service check and they put some oil in it and started it up, make sure it was okay, gave me the thumbs up, and uh, we're off and running. The other thing is I have a high pressure, pr high, <laughs> high pressure sprayer 
uh, that we have here and uh, the the trigger on this thing is messed up and it's uh, not working right so I built I'm going to rebuild it by using this one and taking the parts off of it and installing on that and it will work on my uh, gas pressure washer so uh, how come when I go to the store I always end up with more projects so I'm going to end the video here we still have a big mess over there I'm going to pick up on it either this evening or tomorrow morning and uh, get the new chainsaw running up and running uh, the one I have uh, literally the pipes the little fuel lines and stuff are rotting out because I lived in Arizona and uh, I think I'm going to give it to a son who's much more uh, into fixing things which is a good way to go because you save money and I'm going to give it to him so uh, see if he can fix it up and he will have himself a free chainsaw so uh, I hope you enjoyed the video today please don't forget to like share and I mean like share this to grandma share this to grandpa share it to your great uncle yes they'll love this and uh, uh, please be safe out there and I hope you enjoyed the video see you tomorrow bye now thank you very much for watching our video please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world thanks